Well, this is a very important uh, forum uh, to discuss a range of issues in the whole transport area. It's an excellent opportunity to meet people both from a similar background as regards governments and also from private investment vehicles uh, to discuss all the various different issues uh, that we all have to collectively face um, in the transport area and uh, hopefully find some solutions. It's a very important topic, obviously. Um, Ireland is going through a transitional phase. Uh, we're making huge progress. Uh, but during this uh, phase, we have to look at the different models and different options as regards funding. Uh, we've ha already had a very good discussion here uh, today in relation to funding models with private partners. Uh, the options there as regards uh, public-private partnerships, for example. And uh, certainly I will be digesting those uh, comments and the discussion we had today and bringing them back with me uh, to Ireland to shape some of the decisions we will have to make into the future. Well, yes, I think uh, we are making huge progress. Uh, we are coming through a program and uh, the progress uh, has been fantastic. Um, but during the uh, last few years, we've had to make critical decisions in relation to infrastructure projects. And we just didn't uh, you know, get rid of projects. Uh, we had to move, uh, postpone some. Uh, but in particular, we kept a number of projects going, uh, despite the difficult economic situation. Uh, for instance, we have a fairly significant light rail project uh, going ahead in Dublin. Uh, we have a number of roads uh, being built, uh, major significant infrastructure requirements for all of these projects. Um, and uh, those projects are being progressed uh, despite the situation we find ourselves in. And I suppose over these coming days at this conference we'll be looking at what other models are out there, what funding models are there to progress some of the other projects that we would like uh, and uh, like to progress and are planning for uh, over the coming years. So uh, we've gone through a huge uh, volume of work in the presidency. Um, in the transport area, there's been a lot of various different um, uh, files that have had to be progressed. And we're in the midst of, of uh, finalizing uh, that work at the moment. And I'll be discussing with a number of various different uh, countries on a bilateral basis and also on a collective basis over the coming days, a number of those files. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the whole issue of funding is a key issue and uh, that's the team more or less of the conference and uh, how we're going to progress different funding options into the future, uh, financing, uh, the various different options there. Do you use uh, demand-led schemes, how, how you, you combine uh, demand uh, methods, um, you know, uh, user participation and also financing to fund various different projects and the breakdown in percentages across uh, the, the, all of those whether it be funding or financing and uh, I think that's uh, a very uh, uh, interesting area it's an area where there needs to be a little bit of movement I think governments have a role to play in that uh, we need to project uh, for 10 to 15 years where our projects are going, what we're going to be doing rather than three to five years uh, so we can um, match with private investors as regards uh, what they are looking for, what they are looking for as regards uh, projects. I think short termism is over, it has to be thinking more medium to long term and uh, we have to get the combination right because the taxpayer has to be looked after. Uh, private investors have to make their money but taxpayers have to see value for money and that's uh, ultimately a key issue as well. Uh, absolutely, and I uh, take this opportunity to welcome everyone to Dublin. Um, I am patron of the ITS in Dublin and we're delighted to get this conference for Ireland. Um, it's, uh, it, there's huge issues here because intelligent transport systems, the whole use of technology across a whole range of various different transport areas is a key, is a key area into the future. Uh, at the moment in Ireland we're progressing in the whole area of real-time passenger information science. Uh, we've a, a new smart card uh, in around Dublin and with various other technological advances as well. Um, but this is a huge area. Uh, it's a huge area for growth, uh, facilitating public transport, facilitating passengers in their daily lives across uh, public transport, making their lives easier, ensuring they get a better um, a standard uh, uh, of transport, ensure that they are facilitated more in relation to everything that they do, uh, making it more comfortable for them, uh, using technology in relation to safety areas, using technology in relation to other um, areas of transport that you know, where you can facilitate um, a, you know, better use of transport. So there's a whole wide range of areas and all of those areas need investment. All of those areas need research, 
and continued research. And that means uh, funding and financing. So again, that's a topic that's hitting into the team of, of this week. Um, but uh, the whole issue of, of technology and transport is a huge growth area. It's something I have a huge fascination with myself and I'm delighted that the ITS is going to be in Dublin uh, in uh, early June.